According to a research report by People on the Internet, one of the best sources of awesome information regarding the Asus ROG Ally is this channel that you are watching. It is reported that by subscribing to the channel, your life could be as much as 84.3% better. Press the subscribe button and don't forget to thumbs up the video. Enjoy your soon to be better life. Hey guys, this is Matthias with Ally Gaming. I did a video on this one, the TomTok Arcos Steam Deck case carrying case. I really like this one and I think I said that in the video. I use this all the time because it uh, takes all your necessary gear to bring with you with your uh, Steam Deck or Ally or whatever handheld device you might have. Now this one has come in a updated version so I will be talking about what the difference is between this one and the new one. The special thing about the TomTok Arcos case is that it's got this W-shaped inset here. It protects your device, your sticks here. It's a kind of hard and, and rugged part that protects your, your device. Also, you have this padding on the back side of the, of the device to protect it from uh, shocks and, and hits. This was the, the previous version of this case, uh, which is an absolutely great case. The thing is that, however, if you want to use this for other stuff than your uh, handheld gaming machines, you have this inset that might be in the way. That's why we will be taking a look at the new updated version. Let me see here. I'm going to compare these. The bag is the same size as the old one. The new one is the one uh, at the bottom there. It's got the same external features, like uh, you have these loops on the back where you can put your uh, sling you call it sling this thing you also have this which is perfect if you're out traveling and you want to put this uh, on your carry-on or or your big luggage you can put this over it like that you also have a strap here which is perfect if you want to carry it around one thing that it doesn't have is like a top handle but I don't mind, I can carry it in that one or in this one. So that's that's super fine. On the outside, we have a big pocket on both of these. They are exactly the same. These bags have YKK zippers. Yoshida, Kagyo, Kabushi, Kikaisha, or something like that. That's the, the brand of the zipper manufacturer, Japanese brand. They've been around for like 90 years and they make some of the best zippers on the market. These zippers are, not these, but similar zippers are used by LV, Gucci, all these brands. If you compare it to a bag like this, this is a photo bag that I have. This is absolutely crazy how this, sometimes I can open it and sometimes I can't because it just falls apart, like bits and pieces like this. And this is, what happens when you get a cheap cheap bag? I think this was for free when I did a subscription or something and this this is one of my photo bags Also, I need to talk about the the material of this one. It's called 840d, which is a splash Resistant material. It's very rugged very thick material compared to something like we have in here And this is not good if you look at the the, the build quality of these and uh, how they feel all the seams and everything are just top quality. I've never noticed anything with with the TomTok cases. I've used TomTok cases before for the Switch, and I, I simply just love love my uh, Ally case, uh, travel case. Simply love this one. You see some wear and tear here because I'm just throwing this in my car, and it's it's so rugged. The new one, the new TomTok Arcos G47 is the model number on this one is an update. Like I said, it's got the same storage compartment on the outside. It's got one on the inside for cables and, and stuff like that. The biggest difference, however, is this. You can take this out. And this is, I would assume, a hard plastic or something like that. And this is absolutely great, because now, if you don't want to bring your Ally or Steam Deck or anything like that in your bag. You can use it as an ordinary cool sling bag, messenger bag, for all your 
bits and pieces. This is a pretty smart design. Let's take a look at the, the, the W inset, how it works. This was designed to protect all your uh, sticks and all your screens and all your parts of your Steam Deck and uh, Ally and other handhelds. So as you can see, when it's in the this uh, hard plastic protector, it protects your screen, it protects your, your uh, sticks, and in the bag it also has that thick part that protects the back of the Steam Deck. This also protects the bottom of the device. The old one, the old version, didn't have any protection in the, in the bottom here. It's just, as you can see, the W inset there, I can put my fingers through. The new one protects the bottom of the device, which is also great because sometimes you might put your bag down and it might be, you know, wet or you put it on rocks or whatever, and now it's protected. It's easy to take this out. You have two tabs here on the inside of the bag that you they, they are velcro the tabs that you fold out like this. So the tab is going like this now. When you're not using it, when you take the W part out, you can fold this in and it it's seated against the back of the bag. So there's no velcro that can uh, ruin your mobile phones or whatever devices you want to have in here. But when you want to put this back, just open the tab like that and uh, put this in. Yeah, I think that's it. That's perfect. That's amazing. Now it's seated in there and it works great for your Steam Deck. I'm gonna show you that it works great for your Ally as well. It works great. Like that, you have a lot of uh, unused space uh, over the sticks since the ally is pretty thin. You have lots of unused space here, but I guess you have to live with that if you want it to be a universal solution. This is pretty smart. You have this uh, strap that you use and uh, strap it down like that. These bags are great. They can uh, fit so many things in here. You can fit so many things in here. When you wanna go traveling and bring your hard drives and uh, notebooks and uh, whatever. It's a slim bag that looks pretty good. It looks, it looks really good because it's not that gamey design that makes you look like you're 10 years old and want to play Fortnite. Nothing wrong with that. But the design of this is kind of discreet. It doesn't scream like I have a thousand dollars worth of tech in my bag or two thousand dollars. So I think that's that's a, a good thing. Quality wise, super quality. I couldn't be happier with, with the old one. Now I will be using this one. Um, I will maybe remove the W inset and use this as a normal bag to and, and from work, even when I'm not bringing any game devices with me. So yeah, it's it's super great. You can find this one by using the link in the description. And uh, it's updated, which means if you wanna buy this one, you will get this one. The same bag, but with a new inset. So no, no matter if you, if you would get the old one, it's still a, a super great bag. Yeah, you know what I mean. I will also show you how this works with the, the switch. If you have, this is the switch OLED. Um, works great, works great with the switch as well. But uh, the switch is a bit smaller, which means it will go around like that. Yeah. If you want something for your switch, I would uh, suggest getting this one instead, the Arcos G42. This one was the G47 and this is the G42. And as you can see here, it's a bit smaller. It looks the same, but it's a bit smaller. It's got the same 
compartment on the outside. Same compartment on the inside for cables and, uh, and other fun things. Then we have this. We have uh, the same W inset here, removable. If you want to remove this, this part, you can do that. The difference with this one is that it looks like the first one, the old one I showed you. This inset is made out of the same material as the first one. So uh, it's not this, this hard uh, plastic part. This looks like the first one I showed you. This bag with the, the W part that can't remo be removed, but in this one you can remove it. As with other bags, you have this uh, thick padded part here to protect your, your device. You also have on the W inset, you have one of these card holders. Here you can put your games. You can have one, two, three, four, five, ten, twenty games, game cards on this one for the Nintendo Switch. Because this is the, what's it called, G42? Yeah, Nintendo Switch travel bag. Yeah, you have these tabs you can fold in and fold out, which makes it easier if you don't want to use the W inset sometime. Let's see how this works with the Switch, shall we? Up the switch in there. I'll use the strap to tie it down. And yeah, it works perfectly. Yeah, when you put the switch in there, it's protected by this W inset. I really like this one. I think this is super great. It's small. It's uh, big enough to swallow whatever controllers and stuff you might have with you. I don't think um, you should put the docking station in there because that would swallow all the space, I think. But whatever controllers and you know pro controllers etc you can put it in here and it will it will fit perfectly same thing with this one it's got the ykk zippers i believe it's got the 840d material that's uh, splash proof and everything i would probably say that you can have this in the rain maybe not if it's pouring down for four days straight but uh, if it starts to rain i wouldn't be too worried seems to be in good quality last case we're going to take a look at now is a super nice case if you're steam deck owner you know this one this is a, a classic a fantastic case it's rugged it can handle almost anything it's it's a perfect friend for your steam deck then we have this one it works great what i like about this one is that it's quite slim the original steam deck case it's got some empty space here on the on the bottom and some people use it for their power brick and the cables and stuff i don't do that and many people don't do that this one on the other hand it doesn't have that big hole on the bottom there and it doesn't have any special bells and whistles apart from it being highly protective and uh, slim when we put the system in here, we have a small little uh, microfiber thingy that we can put here. We can squeeze it in like that. And we also have this uh, sort of uh, screen protector part that is also covered with microfiber material. It protects the, the screen a bit more from uh, hits and bumps. We also have a uh, sort of pocket here where I guess you can put your uh, hard drive, if you have a hard drive there. Or whatever cables you might want to put there. Uh, you can't put anything too thick because that will make it difficult to close this. All in all, super case. I like that it was molded like this. Preset spaces for your sticks and your uh, everything. However, it works perfectly with the Asus RG Ally as well. So let's try this one. As you can see, it works absolutely great. It's a bit smaller than the Steam Deck. The thing is that this case was pre-molded to leave space for the sticks and the touchpads, etc., etc. And uh, it's not in the same places uh, on the Ally. I will turn it around like that. I will close it up. And then when I start pressing here on the D-pad on the case, you can hear that I'm uh, pressing the stick when I press there on the touchpad you can hear that I'm, I'm touching the stick not that stick like the stick of the ally I don't see this as an issue at all because uh, it will protect the ally and I don't think you will run into that many accidental 
you know, stick pushes. This is a great case. It's got the YKK zippers, so this won't break in the first few days. This will hold up for a long time. Feels very protected. If you compare it to the, the original case that you can buy for the Ally, which is a thin and expensive case, rather expensive, it's not cheap. In Sweden, this, this is very expensive, but that's, that's our problem because we're, we live in Sweden. I would go for the TomTok case any day. I like this case. I think it's, it's useful as long as you don't uh, put anything heavy on it or drop it. As long as you take, take good care of your, your gear, it's, it's a useful case, but it doesn't beat this one. I would like to have a uh, special version of this one that would fit the Ally better, that would be, you know, made for the Ally. But uh, if I'm not using it for my Ally, I will use it for my uh, Steam Deck. It doesn't accidentally press any sticks or buttons or anything here and it's fairly good protected check all of these out with the links in the description and huge thanks to TomTok for sending these cases they didn't pay me anything to do a video they sent the the stuff for me to review if i wanted and i wanted to review it i will be including some of this stuff in uh, later videos as well where i talk about my favorite accessories for the steam deck and the ally quality wise these are some of the best bags i've got I've got so many bags here, I wish you could see this. I have camera gear, I have a huge uh, think tank case over there for my video gear, etc, etc. So I know bags, I've been using them for, you know, 40 years. And uh, these are bags that I really enjoy using. Huge thanks for watching, your support is amazing. If you want to, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, that would make me happy as well. I think that's it for today. If you have any questions, post them below. And until next time, stay safe, stay gold, and see ya.